guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new ColourPop Just My Luck eyeshadow palette. This did roll out last week. I got my hands on it and yeah, I uh, I love ColourPop shadows. I did the It's My Pleasure eyeshadow palette, um, which I'll link that video right up here above where it's like an all purple palette and it's really gorgeous. So I saw this and was like, mm, have to get my hands on it, especially since it's St. Patrick's Day this weekend. I wanna make sure I got my little green palette on. So if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you guys do so as well. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, dive right on into this. So this is the eyeshadow palette. This palette does retail for $12. And as always, ColourPop does offer afterpay on its website. If you spend over $35, you now qualify for afterpay and it's four easy installments paid every two weeks, up to you. Otherwise, you could just buy this belt bad boy for $12, simple and easy. And it's an all green palette with, let's see. Ooh, look at these shades. These are some really, really gorgeous shades. And I have not seen anything on this palette itself. I didn't want to look it up, and uh, the names are kind of cute. Their chances are Kiss My Hass, 50-50, Big Banes, Mary Jane. I mean, Mary Jane is clearly, it's obvious what that is. All of You, Act Natural, Mobamba, and Charmed. A nice little green palette here. I like how they're doing this. It's actually really fun. There seems to be about five mattes and four shimmers and a nice decent sized mirror, which I'm obsessed with decent sized mirrors, obviously. So uh, we'll go ahead and swatch the colors for you. So here are some of the swatches here for you guys. So in the very first top color we have, the color Chances Are, followed by Kiss My Hass, followed by 5050, followed by Big Bangs, which is really gorgeous green, followed by Mary Jane. And then on this side, we do have All of You, Act Natural, Mobamba and Charmed. Um, like I said, these are really, really cute shadows, and this is like reminiscent to the um, Melt Cosmetics Smoke Session palette. I didn't get my hands on it. Unfortunately, they sold out, and I don't know if they ever restocked. I had my name on the mailing list for it, and they never reached out to me, so I don't know if it ever restocked. So this is like, a, I guess, a better version because Melt Cosmetics, I think, eyeshadow palette was anywhere between $40 and $50. This was months ago, so I couldn't even remember the price of it, but it's really expensive compared to ColourPop shadows who perform just as well, and this isn't even an eyeshadow palette. This is considered a pressed powder palette. So the fact that only $12 and these shadows do perform really, really well, I'm really excited. And it does and it does give me um, reminiscence to It's My Pleasure um, eyeshadow palette. I was not expecting that video that I did for that ColourPop video to actually take off the way that it did. I, I just did like a simple like purple look and people actually really liked it and I was really surprised. So uh, I was like, all right, round two, let's try this ColourPop uh, collection. Because ColourPop shadows are so affordable and they work so, so well. All right, now that my eyes are concealed, I'm gonna dig into this color, Chances Are. It's this really light green color. Um, it's really pretty. I'm actually gonna put it all over my lid just as a, to set my base. Um, I'm not exactly sure what type of colors I'm gonna go for today. Obviously, it's gonna be green. I should probably wear a green shirt in honor of uh, St. Patrick's Day, but I didn't. I'm wearing my actual, like, Birdie B shirt for the Bella Twins. Love my Birdie Bs. It's a very, very light green color. All right, now that that is laid down, I'm going to go into this color, Kiss kiss My Hass. And I'm using my JH40 brush to um, put this in. I'm gonna start putting this in my crease right here and just start building it up. That's actually a really unique name. Now this one, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me show you. This has a lot of pickup in this uh, shadow right here. Unfortunately, I don't know which shadows have the most pressed pigment to them, but this one has a lot, a lot of pickup. I'm gonna take that same um, JH33 that I used for the name for the chances are, and I'm just gonna kind of slowly buff that out. What I love about ColourPop shadows is that they're so buildable and they're so blendable and they're highly pigmented. 
one of the reasons I'm obsessed with their collection. Um, I ordered this, let's see, um, I think I ordered this Saturday or Sunday night because one of my subscribers actually suggested I film this video and I was like, all right, I'll do it for you. And it got here so quick. Whereas my like Zoella um, brunch collaboration with ColourPop, that took almost two weeks for me to get. It was such a hassle and I had to contact ColourPop and they were letting me know like, oh, we're so sorry. We are now sending out your product. And I'm like, at this point, I just want my money back. Like it's been like almost two weeks. I haven't received it. You guys haven't even processed it. I just want my money back. But the second I said that, I magically got it in the mail. Like, I like guess magically delicious or something. All right, just a heads up, seriously digging into this color. Kiss my ass, like I'm literally getting it everywhere. It is having major fallout, not only on the actual eyeshadow, on the eyeshadow palette itself, it's actually having it on my desk. So heads up to anyone when, when using this, like expect there to be fallout with that particular shadow. All right, so the next thing we're going into is this color Act Natural. And I'm gonna start to just build that up. Wow, look at that. No fallout when I pick that up. That's nice. Oh gosh, I can't wait till they come out with like a blue palette, like an orange palette. Ooh, that's gonna be my obsession. Ooh, that's really pretty. So the next color I'm gonna dig into is this Big Banks color. It's like this like gorgeous, like shimmery green. And I'm gonna start to pack that, ooh yeah, look at that, on the end of my eye and start to build up color. Oh wow, that is so gorgeous. So smooth and buttery. I love their shimmers and their collections because they're always so smooth and buttery and they blend like a dream. And they're so easy to apply with just a finger. Like I'm obsessed with it. All right, I'm definitely getting some fallout on my cheek when it comes to that color, but I don't even care because it is so gorgeous. All right, so the next color I'm gonna dig into is the color Mary Jane. Now, um, for those who know that what it is, I don't want to you know go into detail because I do know some wonderful kids do watch this, but I've had my fair share experience with Mary Jane, and I've also had my fair share experiences with um, reactions to Mary Jane, and. That could be just be a video all on its own. Like, look at that beautiful color, by the way. Uh, that could just be a video all by itself. <laughs> My story time with Mary Jane, because it is funny. I can tell you one time I thought that I was a time traveler. I thought that I was seeing ghosts, and I forgot the bathroom stalls had doors. So there are quite, some, quite a few stories that come along with uh, Mary Jane in my life. <laughs> So I'm just taking that color and I'm just gonna blend it right on next to Big Bangs and just kind of mash the two together. So, so, so pretty. So freaking gorgeous. I just have a lot of fallout on my face. You know what I think would look really good to add like on top of this would be my Stella Mint Myth. And it's like this white translucent greenish. And I'm just gonna dab it in the center to maybe give it more of like a highlighted effect. See how well that looks. Just very, very, very lightly. Oh, yeah, that definitely added the extra shimmer that I wanted. For the next step, I'm gonna go back into Kiss My Hass. And I'm going to just start to blend that out underneath. Right, now that that is on there and I'm getting lots of fall on my face, I kind of want to dig into this color Big Banks and I'm just going to lightly tap it right over just to add that little extra sparkle. <sighs> Should I wear false lashes? I'm not going to wear false lashes because the reason being is most people who watch my videos don't wear false lashes themselves. They find it just as much of a pain in the ass as I do. So I'm not even going to bother trying to put them on. I mean, they're literally just going to sit here and just sit on. And then when I get done filming, I'm going to rip them right off. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be right on back, guys. All right, guys. And this is the final look. Come take this risk now. We'll be prepared. I run away. So 
what do I think about this? Um, I think this is actually really, really, really gorgeous. I'm obsessed with how this look came all together. I do think that the shadows itself perform very, very well. They're very blendable, they're high pigmented, and they're just so soft, so smooth, and they just perform amazingly well. I'm never disappointed when I try out any ColourPop's um, eyeshadow palettes. And looking at it right here, I think it's gorgeous. I think it turned out great, and I'm sure it probably will look even better if I put on false lashes, but they're a pain in the ass, and I didn't feel like putting them on. But I think this is a really, really gorgeous look, and I'm definitely, you know, really happy that I got this palette for sure. I'm not disappointed by any means whatsoever. I would definitely say you don't have to add the Stila, you know, topper on top if you don't want to. Like these colors can perform, you can create your own look with these colors very well. You don't have to have any extra. I just like to have extra shine in my eyes just because I'm extra like that, and I like to have a little extra flair. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's really gorgeous, and it's only $12. $12 for nine eyeshadows that perform amazingly, amazingly well. That literally puts that at, let's see, $1.30 each. But I mean, when it turns out like this and they blend so easily, they perform really well, they're highly pigmented, you honestly can't be that. And I cannot wait to see what other collections they have just like this because uh, this is so this is so pretty to me and I cannot wait to wear this for St. Patrick's Day. Well, actually, I don't think I can wear it for St. Patrick's Day because I work, because I work at Disney and you know, there's no such thing as holidays at Disney. So that is it for today's video, guys. Please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post two videos twice a week. Also, make sure you guys check out my other videos on my iHeart Revolution Donut Eyeshadow Palette and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Palette. Both those videos do have giveaways in them which I end next week on March 20th and March 22nd. I will list the winner down below in that description box. You guys go check out those videos so you guys see how to enter that giveaway. I want to thank you guys for all love, support, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye! On his website, so anything you spend. This isn't even like an eyeshadow palette, this is considered a press palette. This Nope. My bubbies. Because I also had the It's My. Because it really reminded me that it's of the It's. This isn't even an eyeshadow palette. This is actually considered a press shadow. Look at that napkin. This isn't even like an eyeshadow palette. This is actually considered press, um, press shadow. Very easily. The very. That is a wrap.